We're here with Gina Goodat, and we're here at EMA's Home Media Expo, which has all the new releases for DVDs that are coming out. Now you have one called Fit Girl Fitness Routines for Routines for, for Routines for Teens. Fitness Routines for Teens. That's right. It's a catchy. I like it. Yeah. So how does fitness differ for teens versus adults? Well, teenagers actually are one to really, they, they latch onto the fats, and a lot of things that teenagers latch on to are fashion and diet fats, unfortunately. And so what we're trying to do is sort of switch that dynamic so that they can latch on to being fit and healthy instead. Um, there's, you know, several, you know, unhealthy um, heroes out there for teenagers, unfortunately, and obesity is on the rise. So we know that with teenagers, usually kids, girls especially, drop out of fitness at about sixth grade. They do? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, because there's cuts and they go into junior high, middle school, and high school, and a lot of our girls stop doing sports, which is unfortunate because okay. they should still be able to enjoy that for life without the win or lose team concept. And a lot of girls who are ballet and dance, they drop out at that point too. And hip hop is so big and fun right now that yeah. there's great ways that they can work out with their friends. Doing dance routines and, of course, kickboxing is very fun and it gives them that tough girl image. So we're really just trying to keep them on board, keep them, you know, growing through this fitness and so they can have it for life, you know, into their adult life too. So hmm, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> so it says it's for teens. So basically it's geared more for 13 to... Yeah, I would say preteen to about 16 okay. mm -hmm, or so, so a lot of it is safe, of course, for anyone, and it's short enough so that it keeps their interest. They can do it with their girlfriends, they can do it with their mom, they can do it with sleepovers, cheerleaders are doing it, drill teams. Really? Girl, yeah, Girl Scout groups are doing it, and it's great for um, all kinds of retreats, and it's a lot of fun. Oh. These girls are sending me emails that they're memorizing the routines, and... They're memorizing the yes. routines? Oh, this is this like fun choreography. Wait. Oh, they're learning new dance moves. They are, because there's one that is sort of the dance move yeah. one for girls that love that. And then for sport drills, there's some of the girls that are really committed as well to sports. And on off season, they can train with this video and for fun, keep up in their sports conditioning. Now, when you say sport drills, I see on the picture there, there's someone up there with um, doing basketball. Yes. So is it mainly for basketball no, or other sports? No, no we have soccer, um, kicking soccer drills, we have basketball, we have skiing, actually snowboarding moves in there. It is a lot of fun. I even incorporated some football stuff. For, oh! Yeah, I know, I know. It's reaching, but the girls love that. They love it. Hmm, now how does this compare? I know it's a different format to something like Dance Dance Revolution. Mm, oh, well that's, yeah, that's <laughs> Well, it's simple. I mean, anyone okay. can get it. It's not real complicated. Oh, which means you don't have to get the whole game console and all no, of that. No, no, no. You don't have to get all that. No. And you can actually stop and rewind, you know, and learn it as you want. You know, slow, slow down the pace so that you can get it. And kickboxing is just, it is so fun. You have kickboxing on here? Oh, yeah. The kids, they love the kickboxing. So it's the tough girl thing. It's definitely. Really? So is there this whole tough girl movement? Well, or is it like tomboys or what? I don't know. I think that everybody loves the kickboxing because they feel empowered, you know, oh, yeah. and the girls have not really had an opportunity to embrace that form of fitness as necessarily it's been their mom's thing. And now it's finally oh, cool. Wow. Yeah, you've got to approach it in a different light, so it's cool enough for them. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, plus you want to build muscle. We want to get rid of that whole concept of the anorexic girl being just so skinny, and so this really promotes a lot of strength training. Oh, that's really good because yeah. that anorexic, I mean... Mm. Okay, we may like some of those little, th <laughs> but it's not exactly healthy. Nor is the obese side, the, the other I know. side. I See, we have two two things, extremes going on. And parents are, you know, they're challenged. On what can I do to give a product to my girls that are, you know, it's going to promote the the middle of the line, you know, the balance, right. healthy fitness. So this, hopefully, this will do it. So do you guys also talk about healthy fitness on the DVDs, other than just the the movements and the exercise? You know, we do at the end a little bit talk about it's not about it being a certain size, a certain size of jeans, a certain size of pants. It's not about being a certain weight because, you know, they get their mindset on, oh, I saw this one Hollywood star and she was 90 pounds. Uh, it's not all about that, that we're all given our own unique body shape and, you know, our own frame and it okay. might be bigger or smaller and that we need to get, you know, feel comfortable with that and be as healthy as we can be in, you know, what we've been given. Well, that sounds really healthy. That, yeah, that's yeah. the goal. That's now, the goal. you are focused on so many other different areas. You also are an author of a book, yes. Unwrapped. Mm -hmm. um, Just coming out. That's real questions asked by real girls about sex. <laughs>